making plans for night you This boy is electric <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back for another energy related video. Uh, this video is covering the installation part of the heatable install that we're doing for my daughter. So we're using heatable to install solar and battery configurations over at her home in Peterborough. The installation part, which this video is going to cover, is quite a key part, isn't it? Because when you're looking at batteries and solar installs, the installs, the dubious bit, you know, what's it going to be like? What are the people going to be like that are installing? Are they going to do a good job? Are they professional? Do you know them? You know, can you trust them? All those sort of things. And that's one of the reasons why I was describing earlier in a previous video that choosing Heatable is a good way to go because it takes that worry away. Heatable organise the installers. They have multiple installers throughout the UK. So with their experience of installers, they know that they're going to use a good one, an installer that knows the equipment that can do a good job. That's very good with customers. So yeah, for me, choosing Heatable was a very good thing because it does take that worry away about the actual install and the installer. So this video is really proving it. I videoed uh, what happened with the install, both to show you technically what goes on with the install of the solar panels and the battery configuration, but also in a sort of behind the scenes way to get a glimpse of what the install was really like. The solar panel part of the install was a little bit boring, to be honest. The first day that the installers came over was, it's a really nasty day. It was dark and wet and cold and just not the nicest of days. So they did put some of the racking, racking the rails, they put some of the rails onto the roof, etc., in the clips ready for the solar panels to go on. But because they knew they were coming back for a second day, they decided not to actually put the solar panels on on the first day and instead leave it for the next day, which was due to be a lot sunnier. So not a lot went on on the first day. And then on the second day, the solar panels are passed up and they're put onto the roof. And again, you can hardly see them going on and it doesn't take very long at all. So the solar panel side of things, although it took two days, that was because of the weather. The way they went about it was, was just seamless. Um, it was very quick, very organized, no noise, no disruption, no issues with the roof. Um, you know, one of the concerns is how do they get the cables off the roof and how are they gonna get down to the inverter and is it gonna be um, you know, a nasty looking install or how are they gonna get the cables into the roof? One of the things that they do on this sort of install is they take a little clip out of the clay tiles. Um, so they cut a clip out of the tile and then the DC cables go through the clip um, that they've taken out and go into the roof. So the idea is you can get the DC cabling into the loft and then you can come out from the loft to the outside wall, down the wall with some trunking and into the inverter. So doing it that way, there's less cables, there's no loose cables over the top of the tiles and going down the wall. It's extremely neat, extremely organized and no mess at all. And yeah, I checked everything to make sure that uh, the install went well. I checked up back up in the loft. There's no light showing through, there's no gaps, no holes. The roof is still watertight, so they've done a very, very good job. It's standard, it's easy, it's quick. The solar panel part really is a doddle. I'm sure they don't say that while they're actually doing it, but from my perspective, it was. It was organized, it was slick, it was job well done. The team of installers that turned up, there was at least three of them. The boss was there on one occasion, uh, so that was four in total. Two electrical installers doing the battery. One also doubled up and helped with putting the solar panels up on the roof. And then there's the one guy who's responsible for doing the solar panel and wiring up the top. But all of them, all of them were excellent. They're very sociable, they're very pleasant. It was quite a jocular atmosphere. There was no stress on site. They weren't shouting at each other. It was a really good team that you could tell have worked well together, had bonded as a team and knew what they were doing. They were working on the same job together. You know, one guy with just one hand leaning in, doing something at the same time as the other. It, it was, it was just a pleasure to see people happy in their work and professional at their work as well. So it, it was a very good install, I've got to say. Thank you, Heatable, for organizing the installer. Um, they were absolutely fantastic, and I would definitely recommend them to anybody else. The battery then, uh, what happened with the battery install? Basically, that goes on the wall, so they put a bracket on, which I'll show you now. She's been chasing you around with that post <laughs> for ages. Am I interrupting your video? <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Uh, I, go. 
down a touch more. Yeah. Because that's going to be the end battery, then you're going to have the inverter, which will be the end of the there, that one there. Happy? Okay. Yeah. Just watch it in the other thing. <laughs> no what? Huh? Nothing. Ha ha glove look. Daddy do it. Well, you changed the plan, so I don't blame it. <laughs> Got level. No, it itself. It's all right. And then the batteries hang onto that bracket. Obviously you don't need to because they're IP. IP sixty five. So how heavy is that apart from bloody heavy? Uh, you done it yourself. Uh, it's not necessarily. Forty five, fifty k. Hundred just makes it look easy. Uh, yeah, well, I reckon they're probably about. Yeah, I reckon they're about fifty kilos ish. So. Oh. What chemistry is it? Life by four. Yeah. The inverter goes on the top and then basically it's all aligned, so it's then into the electrical wiring side. The battery in the inverter obviously needs to have power to it to power the thing on, so it needs to be connected to the AC connection of your house. So out of your meter box, out of where your mains um, electricity is coming from, you need another connection that you can independently, so they need a separate consumer box. It's not necessarily going to go on your existing consumer box. So often I've seen within stores you'll have a separate one. Uh, it's technically possible to go in your existing one, but as in our case, the consumer box is out of date, out of current regs, so if they'd have touched it, they'd have had to upgrade the whole of that as well. So putting a separate consumer unit in made that safe and simple and they could do that. That's gone on the outside of the house as well, so it's completely waterproof. It's a very nice, um, solid, uh, high quality looking item. So it's not a cheap little consumer unit they put on the outside. So you've got the connection from the mains, from the grid that comes into their separate consumer unit. Consumer unit then has the RCB or the isolator, whatever it is on the inside to connect to your inverter and the batteries. That's the connection path of energy going in and out. So that's for export into the house and then if it's not used in the house to go out to the grid, but it's also to come in to actually physically power the inverter as well. The only other thing that's part of the install is an isolator switch. So yeah, on the other side of the battery, they put an isolator in, so that can be separately isolated. And that's basically it. So solar panels on the roof, cables down to the inverter, an AC connection for the inverter and battery, and an isolator switch. That is the install. 
The only reason we chose to put the battery on the outside of the house is quite simply there isn't enough space on the inside and the garage is in the wrong position to be able to put it into the garage. So it's, it's gone on the outside um, and the Alpha ESS system is designed to go on the outside. It's IP65 rated as an overall. Some of the components on the inside I spotted there were IP67 rated um, labels on it as well. So it's very well suited to the outside. We're probably gonna put um, a little shelf over the top of it as well, just to prevent a little snow um, that might go on it in the worst of winter. So just to protect the top of the inverter, it, it can't hurt, can it? Just to add a little bit of extra protection. My understanding of the commissioning, I didn't see it all, but that was a contact with Alpha ESS to make sure it came online. And then a setup of the app and a demonstration of the app to myself. So basically uh, it's the handover of, well, what do you want to do with this battery? How do you want to charge it? How do you want to discharge it? And set those things up. I'll cover the app separately in another video, but all I'd like to say is for the installation part, extremely simple. There were no hassles, no issues, very quick handover, and it was installed very quickly. Ah. Our install did actually have a problem, but it wasn't the installer's fault, it wasn't Heatable's fault. Alpha ESS sent the wrong cables with the battery, so they couldn't physically connect the inverter and the batteries on the first day. So we had to wait a couple of days longer for the installer to come back and just uh, use the correct cables to wire in the batteries to be able to turn it on and have it completely connected and working. So it's not, I guess it's nice to see. It's nice to see um, how a problem, a small problem was dealt with and it was dealt with very easily. It was communicated, a little bit of a problem. Really sorry about that, nothing we can do about it. Can't get it done today. We'll order the parts for tomorrow and we'll come on site at a time that's suited to you and we'll get it back up and working for you. So it was it was just very, very smooth and very slick. It's almost like this video um, doesn't need to be done because it's just a tick box. Was the install good? Yes, it was. Uh, was it professional? Yes, it was. Were the people on site really nice? They were, you know, they were like, uh, I almost want to say they're like your mates coming around. It was very, very friendly, but I don't want to give the impression that it wasn't professional because it, it really was. But just a good atmosphere. There was a good working atmosphere. They all worked well together and the job was done quickly and efficiently and well, first time. Only fault, wrong cables were sent by Alpha, which they dealt with very quickly. What more can I say? We're a happy customer. That's what you want to hear, isn't it? Anyway, thank you very much for watching and listening to this video about the heatable install. Uh, it did go very, very well. And if you're looking at solar and battery, which is probably why you're looking at this video, then uh, yeah, it's, it's good. I would recommend it. Give Heatable a contact, use their online system to get a quote for yourself and have a chat with them about what they can do for you. Links are in the description, as always, with some discount codes, etc. So uh, don't forget to leave me a comment what you think of this video. If you've had experience of Heatable as well, it'd be great to see those comments uh, below as well. So thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to click like and subscribe if you want to see more content on this sort of thing. There's some more videos to come, including the results, the performance of this system. So yeah, we've gone through choosing it, getting it installed, getting it commissioned, getting it online, but does it work? It's December as well. It's not going to be that great to start with, is it? So we've got to set expectations right. More videos to come very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you again soon. Bye for now.